I just figured out why I can't find my batteries and the answer is because they're all in use. So I've got two in the camera. That's two. The third one's in here, so that's three. And I'm guessing the fourth one is in the mouse that I'm using now. Oh yeah, I'm right. My real mouse has got the fourth one. So that's all four Panasonic's accounted for. So we'll put three dead 9 volts in here. We'll put the two blue ones and the spare battery for the camera in there. Now this one, there's no batteries, it's USB charged. These... Ow. That takes four double A's, but um, I only use the power supply from that now because of leaving the batteries in the device cost me $22 on the uh, 26th of January 1994 so I bought it brand new at the rock shop obviously but then I left the batteries in it and had to take it back two or three months later and get it fixed so that's a boss Dr. Rhythm Digital DR220 that's what that's what you hear, the drums. That is the drum sound you hear on my music in these videos. So that takes USB. That, the Go, the cheap GoPro also takes USB. But the remote control for the cheap GoPro is a watch battery. And so I don't want to leave that in when I'm not using it. So we'll put this, the remote, in here. And the battery in the battery holder. In here. So that's all my batteries sorted. And I guess I need to make a little bag or a box or something to put these two in somehow. So that's my entire battery collection, and uh, I don't know where the triple, oh yeah, sorry. All my triple A's, actually there's two triple A's missing. These are gold stars. GP alkalines, because I can't find the missing power techs. So there's two in there, and there's two in the real keyboard, and they are actual power techs. So I'll get power tech, power tech from JK. So I get two new AAA rechargeables and I've just found two blue ones that I must have bought a year ago and completely forgot I bought them. And so my orange rechargeable batteries that I got with this camera wrong it's a load of rubbish it really is don't listen to him ah! I'm afraid that the information you just received is a complete lie a complete fabrication of the facts and I did that to cover up the fact that we've been invaded by alien space beings from an extraterrestrial universe no, the, the fact is that this charger actually came, I bought it when I upgraded from my A430 to the A460. And I guess you could still use this camera. Um... 
if you want to. Still usable. None of them, none of them are dead. Just uh, this is only five megapixels, whereas the newer one is an A480, and it's ten megapixels. So that's five, and that's ten. So with the five megapixel. I knew it. The lens didn't retract properly. Got to watch that. So with the, the 5 megapixel Canon, notice that I stick with one brand. Canon, 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 Canon. And I've done that for a reason. If I like a brand, I stick with it, I guess. So with the 5 megapixel, I bought this Lemmings, was it Lima, L Lenma, L-E-N-M-A-R. And I used that for years and years. So it's it had four oranges, I think. But anyway, no it isn't. Might have. But anyway, it's got four chameleons, two orange, uh, two double A's and two triple A's. So the batteries are going in the bin, like I said, when I build up my confidence to throw them out. I don't like throwing things away, do I? No. So that was with the A460 5 megapixel. With the newer 10 megapixel came. Oh, by the way, uh, this was bought in Christchurch, I'm thinking in the um, mall by Smith City, and that mall's now been destroyed by an earthquake, it's gone. So that's all that's left of that mall years later. What? So across the road from there at Smith City I purchased a Canon A480 10 megapixel and I bought this when I was doing my camera course at where? It's time for class man. No, 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 you can go anytime. Hagley College. Okay, that's when I was doing Dig 12. I bought this for that purpose, so I got the camera, and when I bought the camera I got the bag on top of that, and when I got the camera and the bag I bought the Panasonic charger at the same time, which takes four Panasonics, and that charge is pretty good. And I still use this camera and the battery charger. Obviously the batteries are charging my mice, keyboard and camera. But they are really obsolete now, but I still use them because I've just bought this. Uh, this is a Canon EOS 1100D. Uh, cost a grand. And any batteries to charge with this? Well, kind of, even though um, it doesn't need charging, only needs charging once every couple of months or something. It comes with this charger. This is a Canon LCE10E. And that just slots in like so, and it charges it up. So that goes in the video camera bag, that goes in the video camera bag, and that goes in the video camera bag. So that's the correct 
order in which I purchased those cameras and the charges that came with them. Now back to the actual documentary. Back in 2009, a now leaky or they look odd, they look rusty, so they're going in the bin, if I can find them. Well, I'm guessing we can sort out my uh, memory sticks and do a, a whole video. Um, on that subject. Oh! There's batteries in... <laughs> the missing batteries are in here. Ah, okay, so we've got... These are the two chameleons. Right, so... Oh, we've got little ones. Two orange chameleons. And... One, two, three yellow power techs. So I won't buy. I won't buy any more. They can fit in there. Okay. So I'll explain my power adapter problems. Okay. So all the Panasonics fit in the Panasonic charger. Nicely. Nicely. Absolutely wunderbar. Look at that, fits perfectly. But the chameleon charger, which came with my camera, is oh, look at that, you can't even use them anymore. They should throw them out here. Yeah. They're slightly bigger. But I'll keep the charger because it still fits. It's just that these little ones pop out. So I guess as long as you, you uh, oh, see, yeah, okay, it works okay. But this thing takes eight, six to eight hours to charge batteries. Whereas this will do it in two. So that's, yeah, so that's a backup battery charger. You know, I've owned this for like eight years now and I just figured out it's got a nine volt charger. So I can buy. Look at that. You can buy nine volts and recharge them. Whereas the expensive one that came with my camera doesn't have a 9 volt slot. That's weird. And it'll take six little ones. I just figured that out. Look at that, minus. There's a way of charging six. I never knew that. Oh no, they won't, don't fit. So it'll do four, four bigs and two littles. No, it's a gimmick. It's got slots for six batteries, but it, there's no way of fitting there. Oh. oh, okay, I know why I kept that thing now. I know why I kept this, because it does charge the little ones. And I never figured out that this one can also charge little ones if you fit them in between. How weird is that? So anyway, we'll keep both charges because you keep things anyway. But I'm a whole thing I'm going to be talking about. Is that the only reason why You've been collecting dead 9 volts is because these are all 9 volts. These all take 9 volts, but the thing is, I'll tell you in a minute, there's nothing in there. I accidentally left one in one of these ones, and I think. Died. There's 
nothing in there. This was, uh, this one's worth more than my guitar, so I won't tell you the real price of it, but very expensive. So we keep our dead 9 volts because we think we put them in there to use when we're recording. But it's completely irrelevant, even though I know it's irrelevant, I still keep the 9 volts. Why is it irrelevant? Because of this. Oh, I've been away for so long, I've grown a beard. What? <laughs> um, I couldn't find them. They're in a drawer somewhere. So we're gonna, this is, this is the year of keeping everything together. So, we have these. White's got blue tack on it, I have no idea. It's probably sticking up to a board or something. So you believe that you want to keep dead 9 volts because they power these things, but you just get yourself one of these. You can power one, two, three, four of them. And that, where does that go? Well, that goes into there. And what does that do? Well, that's a converter. And it's got 9 volts on it. And what's the batteries? 9 volts. 